Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Over the last month or so, I have been busy creating some journal pages for Settlers of the Nen Valley, all about what's been happening in our Settlers ancestral garden. I wanted to make a video to show you my process, so let's take a look at how I made the finished result. So I'm in the Settlers garden now and Hilary has just planted some grape hyacinths. I have just picked a couple of these lovely snowdrops because they are going to be January's featured plant in this month's diary entry. Over the back there, that bright green plant you can see, that's green manure and we're also going to do a feature on that this month. So I'm going to go and get a scrapbook and then I'm going to take the snowdrops home and get them pressed. So I'm back home now and the snowdrop is in the flower press. And this is the scrapbook that I bought. It's a 12 inch scrapbook and it's got brown craft card pages. Which gives it a nice rustic look which I think is great for the settlers project. What I am going to do now is make... A heading for the title page of January on the scanning cut so just using shapes that are already loaded into the memory you can see I've got the word January and two sort of oblong shapes to back the words onto to make them stand out now the machines finished cutting we'll just peel off the shapes and the lettering carefully so that we can put our heading together. Before I stick anything down permanently, I'm just going to arrange all my letters onto my background to make sure that I've got them in a position where they fit neatly. Now we're just going to mat and layer the two backing pieces together before we stick our heading plate into the diary. It's been a week since we put the snowdrop into the flower press. Now it's time to open it up and see what has happened. I'm going to gently remove these pieces from the lining paper now so that they can be stuck down. I've trimmed my piece of craft card down to size and I've got some book binding glue here that I'm going to use to attach my flower. I've cut a square of blue card so that I can mount my snowdrop onto it. It's going to give me a small border and some space to write some information about the plant. I'm using double sided tape on the back of my craft card and then we'll just peel up two corners before we're ready to stick down our flower. And when I'm happy with the positioning of my snowdrop, I can peel out the backing from my double-sided tape. I'm in the final stages of putting together January's journal entry. We've got some photos, some copy, a poem about snowdrops and a little pocket that I've made to protect our pressed snowdrop from earlier. So I'm going to finish this off now and I'm going to show you how I made the little slider in case you want to make any pockets for your journals. So on this page I have started to stick down some copy and some photos in the positions that I want them. I've only peeled up a little bit of a corner of the tape so that if I want to reposition anything it's fairly easy for me to unstick these without damaging the paper. To make your slider you're going to need a pocket or an envelope, I'm using this seed packet. You're also going to need whatever it is you want to put inside the pocket, a piece of ribbon and some adhesive and I'm using double sided tape. So take whatever it is that's going inside your pocket and lie it on top of the ribbon and then fold your ribbon over leaving one piece hanging out of the side. Put everything into your pocket 
and then you're going to use your double sided tape to stick the ribbon to the inside of the pocket. Leave the backing on the tape and you've got your pulley all worked out. So all I need to do is finish sticking down my envelope and I can trim the ribbon with my fabric scissors and the whole spread for January will be finished. I hope you really enjoyed that video and if you get the chance come down to Stanick Lakes and see the settlers barn and garden where the journal will be put on display very soon.